Hi, my name is Nigeria Chambers of Big O Belt Media Tour. It's a pleasure to talk to you today. How are you doing? Pleasure to talk to you too. So, Monarch, Legacy of Monsters, coming to Apple TV Plus November 17th. I have been able to check out the first eight episodes of this 10-episode season. It is fantastic. It is, without a doubt, my favorite series this year. Oh, wow. Thank I you. Wanted, absolutely. And, and, and thank you. Um, from some of the previous criticisms within projects within the, uh, the MonsterVerse, where first we're saying, like, hey, it's too much humans, not enough monsters. Then it was this too many monsters, not enough heart. You all have truly perfected the balance between the two. Can you talk about the execution along with the visuals, the amazing CGI, and then this top tier cast of actors? Wow, well, first of all, thank you. Um, really appreciate that. It's something that we really spend a lot of time to try to find that balance because we're gifted a world and an IP that you come in and you expect spectacle. You expect your monsters and I hope that we deliver on them and it sounds like you uh, appreciate what we did. But I think what we also have, which is unique to the movies, is we have 10 hours to tell a really human story and at the heart of that, as you saw, we have a very dynamic and juicy family drama that's something that you want to stay with and unravel and, and isn't really typical of something that we sort of get to see in these big sort of genre stories. We also have romance and we're, and we're also all over the map, literally. You know, we, we were filming in Tokyo and Hawaii and, and you know, referencing uh, Korea and the desert. And I think it was really fun to keep people guessing, pe keep people fed with the excitement and the escapism that you come to expect with this kind of title, but also keep them surprised with the level of emotionality and human drama. Well said. <laughs> You're entirely right when you said uh, wanting to really stay with the, the family drama. It gets juicy, but also it has a lot of heart, a lot of substance. Definitely moments where I was choking up a little bit because it was just really... Um, it, it was so easy to connect with these characters. Um, so when you talk about right now in terms of just titles being released, it is truly the year and the moment of the MonsterVerse. Can you talk about what the array of upcoming projects, including this um, and, and even this passionate fandom behind it, the challenges in terms of bringing this and, 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 and then having this available for us this November? Um, you know, th this is something that I think is really special because there is a great um, legacy of these films and the legendary MonsterVerse. And, uh, and one of the things that we loved our co-creator talking about, um, this show sits dancing in the raindrops of those movies. And so we get to sort of see the background of things that were happening in the movies that you know and love. And also, if you're a new viewer, you don't have to have seen them. Because as you know, as, as you know having seen the show, is you're really sort of pulled in by these characters, the character drama and the characters themselves. And so that's been something that's really exciting. And it's something that we're really conscious to not step on anything that's been done before, but just expand on the conversation. <laughs> That's amazing. And I don't want to, you know, give anything away, but obviously with your work here, if you had to describe what fans can expect in this 10 episode season, what words would you use? I think, um, you know, on, on its surface, it's a really dynamic and fun globe trotting adventure. Um, you're going to have a lot of fun. It's escapist entertainment, but I think you'll be surprised by the emotionality and the fact that you'll be moved um, in a story like this, and you'll you'll connect with the characters, and you'll want to be with them and, and know what, what their next turns are, and I think that that's so exciting in TV when we can really spend time with these characters and fall in love with them. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, listen, Tori, thank you so much for your time today, and folks, Monarch, Legacy of Monsters, coming to Apple TV+, Plus, November 17th. I hope you have a good one. Thank you. I can't believe